so um, this is uh, the rest of uh, the pump for a spray, bottle spray or sprayer. Uh, the problem was that it stopped to work and if I looked on it in detail uh, the problem was that uh, when uh, pushing this pump here and going this way with the pump here uh, the water was not uh, going up but it was falling down so the hypothesis was that there is probably some of uh, the loss of the under pressure because I suppose that uh, to suck the water into this uh, tube is done by under pressure by this pump in here um, I had to use a pretty brutal way as you can see to remove the stuff because it was not so easy these pins I were unable to remove them so it cracked and let me show it was something like this there was there was this stuff here flip to the pump and there was this which was like pushing the pushing the pump away and and there was also this thing in here which was removed slightly well but the other stuff I have to melt it down to remove it there was also the cover of whole stuff which is this something like this so I had to remove it by heart cracking these pins these pins up here and then melting down the back side and I haven't figured out actually what's the problem but I guess that uh, there might be some uh, in this that that there might be uh, that uh, I mean this doesn't flip perfectly to this because it's old I've been using this spray uh, to spray water into plants for about two or three years so maybe there's some air going and that's why there's a loss of under pressure and uh, the water falls in the tube down there or uh, the problem might be somewhere in this mechanism which is inside there is a sort of mechanism maybe I can melt it down here and have a look inside so let's let, let's have a look there uh, well how we stop the video we can't do that so let's melt it down online So for this purpose, come here. For this purpose, I have here this rod, which I'll heat it up, and I will try to melt it down here, maybe here. Well, let's see, or maybe we can cut away this uh, this upper section. This upper section, we can try to cut out. And then to remove this uh, this uh, big tube here, to have a look what is actually what's actually that uh, blue thing there or how to call it. Okay, let's have a look. So, where's that? Okay, let's try it. Well, we need more. Oh, come here. Ouch. Yeah, these, these pins, I tried to remove them somehow to remove this, but no, nothing. They're still... Okay, never mind. So, can we go? Just a second. Well, I should find out some program to be able to mix two videos, to have them shorter, so sorry, this time that it's taking slightly longer. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Okay, there is this tube here. What we can do with it. Okay, come here. Let's go.
let's go, let's go, okay. Okay. Be careful. Be careful not to get burned. Okay, okay. And now let's cut this tube tube here. It's flipped on all length to this chip here, so let's try to make an autop autopsy. Okay, here we go. Let's okay. Okay. Yeah, there, there's just I don't know what what's. Uh, What's uh, this for? It's usually covered here, so maybe it's needed, but even I try to cover it and test it now, it uh, didn't work either. Okay, so it looks like this. There's maybe a connection here. Maybe not. Well, looks like not. So now I will try to cut off this, this tube in there carefully to see that blue well how to call it unit think staff ah okay 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 this is very precise work and actually the smell is not nice the burning plastic. Maybe I will cut it like this way twice. Okay. And let's do the same here. Carefully. Carefully. Yep. So and now carefully going around here. Going around here. Okay, can we okay, come here. Well, what is good that the plastic is like um, cooling very fast, so usually directly after removal, right in a second I can touch it and that I am not afraid of getting burned. Oops, and this is again more complicated. Maybe I can I can remove this. It was in some videos. Okay, I can remove it. And yeah, that's. can manipulate it maybe better. Okay. Also here. So, shall we go? Ouch. I know there's. it's down flipped here. Okay, so now, come on, some more stuff here, okay, so, um, yeah, excuse me, I'm getting closer into this, let's use a screw if we can move it, remove it, whatever, ah, it can come here, yeah. So now we can have a look on it. Yeah, there's... Um, yeah. Well, there's this. And yeah, I can't 
zoom it, but this goes nowhere. And there are two holes up there. And there is also the hole down there, but the question is whether it goes somewhere. So maybe just the upper hole, which would be flipped or fixed to the upper section. Yeah, that, that will be probably the interior of the pump, let's say. So, well, I haven't figured out what was the problem of this uh, spray pump. I just uh, came into the hypothesis, but I haven't found a way how to, how to support the hypothesis. So, uh, maybe you can, you can come up with some ideas how to fix such spray. Thank you.